there's the piece of metal on top there's the flash from the LED now there we are it lifts it oh great welcome back to the small work table I've had some great fun chatting with Cesarus2011 who said hello it seems that anything you do you only get an oscillator Electric pile with copper zinc, you got oscillator for output. Solar lights, Tesla was right, we need to discharge in small amount anything. Divide, a ampera. Even a ramp pump is a hydraulic oscillator. Well yes, it got me thinking, and that was that a lot of recent projects, probably most, have been regarding oscillators. So I thought I'd do something completely different. Zero oscillations. So, what is there that I can make from junk parts, in this case from an old computer ATX power supply, that won't oscillate, but will do a thing electrically? It'll do something without power as well. That's very interesting stuff, and Lee Scalmin's PMH is what I'm going to make. A very small one using ferrite, and that, one of those there, one of those two or three transformers is what I'll use. All will become evident, and in fact, if I've put the bit of video at the start, you'll know what it's going to look like. I don't, yeah? <laughs> so first thing, let's get these transformers off this board. There's one removed, and while I take out the other two, let's have a bit of a history on what the Ed Lead Scalning PMH actually is. This idea goes back to a man named Ed Lead Scalning a Latvian immigrant who lived in Florida in the early 1900s. He's best known for building Coral Castle, completely by himself, moving multi-ton stones using methods he never fully explained. Lead Skalnin believed magnetism was the key to how the world really works. One of the devices he demonstrated was something he called a permanent motion holder, or PMH. He wasn't meant to power machines or break physics, but to show what he believed was continuous magnetic motion. There's no electrical input here, just magnets arranged so their fields are always interacting. Whether you see this as clever physics or misunderstood science, it's a fascinating piece of forgotten experimental history. Nearly all of these that you'll see are made from an iron or steel horseshoe shape, such as this fine example from George Chenotakis, and will have a big metal bar or keeper on top. The one I want to make is going to be formed on ferrite, have a low number of turns to make the coils and use just a AAA battery to energise it. Junk parts, but hopefully not a junk result. Alright, I've got all three off now. Um, let's see now, it's like the three bears isn't it? I'll use the middle one. First thing to do is to remove this yellow tape and then there might be a little spot of glue or something which I'll have to remove. I'll file that down and then hopefully you should be able to get the top part out and it should be like a letter E shape. Yeah, there's some of that yellow tape away and you can see how it connects. There's two halves. So we're just trying to get the top part out at the moment. Alright, well some come apart easily and some don't. This is a some don't. <laughs> I managed to snap the top bit there. So I've gone for plan B and I've got this piece here. I've actually got a couple of these already, but I did want to show this one. However, what this one does show is how you could possibly reuse the wire that's already inside the transformer. That's really not a bad idea, making use of something that would probably just have stayed on the board and got scrapped. I've wound 10 turns on so far, and I'll keep going with the rest of whatever this layer is. Hopefully, there's a similar gauge in somewhere within here. Alright, there's 100 turns on this side, so I'll carry on with the wire here, see how far I get. I might need to piece it together, solder it with another one, but the gauges look good. And as it turns out, I got to 87 turns, so I'm going to use this next layer of wire. I took some more of this yellow captain type tape off. I'll use that. There we go, 100 turns on each side. Now I'll connect the start of this coil to the end of this coil and do the same on the other side, the start of this side to the end of this side and that is it made. Now it turns out that this has been a bit of a trouble. Um, what I decided on using for a keeper 
well it's just one of the parts from a knife you know a sharp knife you took the inside out it's metal and the idea being to put this little piece on the top to work as the keeper and then hopefully be able to lift it up but I wasn't getting much going on at all so perhaps there's a little tip I'm not sure but I put an LED across and we're only using the 1.5 volt battery of course but hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate what happens with oh there we go you can see when I touch the end we get a flash of the LED there we are so that was just something of a finding to see whether the windings um, were giving issues and I think all it is for this one is perhaps the permeability of the ferrite itself isn't matching do you know what it could be actually I haven't checked these are flat I might just sand them down or get a file oh my and you know what after some filing but it does need some more it does work there we are I'm picking it up the whole thing underneath suspended by that magnetic field <laughs> it did it did actually need a little bit of sanding so there we are so really the LED flashing does tell you that your coils are running okay I was quite surprised of course it's not got that much strength to it like I say it does need a little bit more sanding but wow okay I'll do that but also I've made this one here as well off the other side um, you know they're like an E shape on each side of these kind of transformers you can sort of see the shape there so that's been a good little success right onwards now I'll uh, tidy this one up and I'll also get this one to run well I've just shown you that one working but I think a fuller demonstration of how these work is in order so I'll use this one this one actually has a hundred turns on each side of 30 AWG all right so here is this one with the metal on top but of course at the moment that's not sticking that's doing nothing there's a very slight little bit of residual magnetism probably in the metal but if I put it on making sure to cover both ends then I take the battery and it just needs one little one little touch you might hear a click as well like that now it might well be magnetized and there we go now it can pick it up <laughs> it is quite the amazing little effect and people have had these things in sheds for 20 years or something still going it's only when you break the contact that the magnetism is lost but as you can see it picks it up fine there we are that's a quick example demonstration two 1.5 volt powered Edlead Scaling PMHs. Please do like and subscribe if you like this kind of thing. I'm trying to get monetized. And I'll see you next time.